something different. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's the only bad thing is like, it's not a punch in job, but it's 24 7. It's in my mind. Life. I'm in the shower. I'm like, <laughs> you know what? Maybe I should come up with this. <laughs> it shows up in your dreams. Yeah. Even it does. When you're sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. You should know this. Like, too. I got you an do idea. The same thing. I got an idea. Yeah. But I yeah. mean, the, the self, you know, gratification you get in that. You know, feeling is like, okay, this feels good. Yeah, yeah. People like my stuff. Let's go. <laughs>Hey, what's going on? What's up? It's Jamar Jones, and welcome to another episode of the Forever Podcast, where we talk about business and things that are personal, because business is personal. I'm an owner, author of a book called Change Your Circle, Change Your Life, and also I'm a speaker, and we have an awesome, awesome guest here today, uh, Colleen Sullivan. <laughs> welcome. Thank you. What's up? Thank you for having me. How are you doing? I'm well. How are you? Doing good. <laughs> I'm doing good. And you're with Sully Soaps, which is yes. something you birthed and created. I did. Out of out of what? <laughs> how did it start? How did how did it start? Well, you know, interestingly enough, I was looking for a hobby during COVID, mm -hmm. and it actually became a passion. And I did. You know, I was, something that I didn't think I was good at until I started doing it, and mm -hmm. it just blew up into this amazing thing. So another good thing out of COVID. <laughs> yes, sounds <indeed>. like. <laughs> yep. Innovation, which is amazing. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about yourself, a little bit about your background, um, and what got you here. Okay, I used to work at a nightclub mm -hmm. for 15 years, and I moved to Milwaukee to work at a casino. Cause I'm like, what am I gonna do in my life? Okay, a casino is like a nightclub, but it's with gambling. It's yeah. something I'm great at. I'm good at customer yeah. service. I'm good at making connections. I'm a people person. Mm -hmm. When COVID hit, um, it was pretty disastrous because something happened that I never thought in the world would happen. A casino shut down and they literally got right. rid of thousands of people. I mean, they completely shut it down. Yeah. All table games, all everything. Um, we thought we were actually only going to be shut down for a couple of weeks and then as the time went by they um actually got rid of everybody and it was quite devastating i went through a time where i was pretty you know i was kind of depressed about it. i'm like what am i going to do with my life um Jeez. you know so you know i started getting into a lot of hobbies i was painting i was mm -hmm. cooking i was doing a lot of things to get my mind off of that and figure out what i was going to do it my life mm -hmm. and um i started doing soaps as a hobby and um and where'd you see the soaps like what you know what i why went, not knitting? i frequently <laughs> went to the fabric store okay. like joanne fabrics Joanne's? anything to like you Good know old I, got, I got uh, you know um paint any kind of thing to do with painting anything artistic wise i'm always mm -hmm. like never thought of myself as artistic but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i went in the aisle of the soaper section and I was like, oh, maybe I can do this. And I didn't even, was never on TikTok, none of that. So I literally got a Facebook account like 10 years ago. So I'm like, <laughs> you know, I, I started YouTubing on how to do these handmade soaps. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it actually, I found out I had something. So, you know, my, my boyfriend, yeah. Corey, he came yeah. home. He's like, I think you're onto something. And I was like... <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I think I could do this, sell this at a craft beer. I think I could, I got this. Yeah. So, you know, I started doing more soaps that advanced soapers were doing. I mean, I put in every last dollar I had to my name. Mm -hmm. Plus, Corey invested in me. Mm -hmm. So, um, just to see what I can get going with it. Yeah. And it yeah. actually, I was doing so, I was doing a lot better than I thought I would do. But mind you, I was nose diving into everything on how to, you know, make soaps and what was in it and what the, um, you know. It the seems very complicated from an outside person to make soaps. You know, it isn't easy. I'm not going to say this has been an easy thing. Well, you got to be like know, a scientist. Almost like a, a chef, I say, because it's like cooking. You yeah, know, everything's okay. measured chef, out, chef, okay. you know. Um, everything is by measurement. And you can't, it's such a fine line between going over, you know, a certain thing you know, calculation. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, for sure. So it could just ruin the whole batch of soap. And um, so, you know, uh, we, I put everything I had left into, mm -hmm. um, you know, starting these soaps up. I'm like, I'm gonna do a craft beer. 
I'm going to, you know, before we, you know, went yeah. into actually going online. And mm -hmm. then, you know, I did the craft fair and it, it seemed to take off. And then I, I built from there. So I was like. That's crazy. And, you know, it's like I've made so many connections throughout the years. Um, you know, people, you know, say like, oh, my gosh, I, I was crazy how you did this. Like, you know, I'm like, well, all the people I've known, they all came out to support me. You yeah, know, it's like yeah. I've always worked in So you built up a network of people already naturally yeah you yeah, know naturally yeah. you know all my whole life i worked by me so yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're like what is colleen doing <laughs> holy when i got a facebook they're like holy yeah. crap colleen got a facebook i was like i don't know what you're doing because i don't know <laughs> that's amazing so yeah the soaps really took off and i was actually ordering from other soapers i'm like i want to know what their packaging looks like i want to mm -hmm. And I actually did it. I'm like, I knew so what I liked and what I did didn't like, you know? And, yeah. And right. really looked at the market and see, saw kind of what people were doing. Because you wanted to stand out, I'm guessing, I right? did want to stand out. I didn't want to be the cliche soap maker. Yeah. Because usually yeah, yeah. they're a bit older <laughs> and they're in their kitchen. I wanted to be like the cool, the cool soap one, maker, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, and I also wanted to, you know, do something that was a little bit elevated you know mm -hmm. i like you mm -hmm. know to be a little bit more elegant you know okay so okay that's yeah. cool that's cool so basically you're saying the blueprint of if you want to start your own soap business that is elegant and elevated yeah. first of all you need to work 15 years at a nightclub yeah uh, to and really then another seven at a casino <laughs> and another seven at a casino <laughs> then you might be able to get to this level right um no that's amazing that's amazing and what is it like being a woman-owned business you know just so far you've been in business for how long now um a little over a year a little over a year so yeah. happy anniversary for that Thank that's you. Uh, definitely Thank a huge you. accomplishment and so what is it like, you know, being a woman owned business that you've seen so far, um, some of the, the perks and the good things about it and also some of the challenges? Right. You know, I will tell you that it's crazy when I say I'm a woman owned business because you know what, like I was working so much. And right. even when I moved here, I worked at a casino, I worked at a restaurant, I'm like, I know it sounds so cliche and cheesy, but I have a purpose. Like I wake up, I'm like, okay, I have, I have something to do. You know, mm -hmm. I'm not just working my butt off 14 hours a day, going yeah. to sleep, waking up to an alarm clock and being like, I have to go punch in. You know, mm -hmm. it's like, I know at, you hear that all often, yeah. but you don't understand, like, you know, I don't want to get emotional, but the, I feel like I wake up after all these years, I'm 49 years old, mm -hmm. and I am woke up with a dream 49, that I created. <laughs> I know. Why did I say that? I'm so dumb. <laughs> hey, 49. But I'm, I wake, I wake up with a purpose and a passion. I'm like, I can't believe that this is happening. So yeah. I can't believe I did this. And it came out of such a horrible time in everybody's life, not just mine. And, um, so the good part about that is purpose and, and that self gratification and like, yes. you know, like I'm proud, yeah. I'm proud like it's almost a question like yeah no you are proud colleen you've got this mm -hmm. like you work so hard and you know it may have been just a year in soaps and you know and mind you you know when you asked about the downfall mm -hmm. it is 24 hours you know mm -hmm. you you may not have to punch in but it's the mind's going <laughs> like what kind of soap can i make how can i be better how can i improve how can i you know give people something different yeah you know yeah. that's the only bad thing is like it's not a punch-in job but it's 24 7 it's, it's in my mind i'm life. in the shower i'm like <laughs> you know what maybe i should come up with this <laughs> it shows up in your dreams yeah when does. you're sleeping yeah yeah you should know this like, too. i got you an do idea the same thing. i got an idea yeah but i yeah. mean the the self you know gratification you get in that you know how feeling is like okay this feels good yeah, yeah. people like my stuff let's go that's amazing <laughs> that's amazing i mean a lot of times mo the, some of the most beautiful things come out of the most chaotic situations right. yes. which is which is just amazing that this has been created because if covid didn't happen who knows where yeah. you would be you know, yeah, I'd still, um, it gave I'd you that time to think and say, hey, what am I passionate about? What do I what could I do? And you got a new hobby that's now not a hobby. It's a business. No, yeah, it's, it's, it, right. <laughs> it's it's a thriving business, which is amazing. So um, real quick. So let's just yeah. go into a little bit on the soaps um, side of it. So, OK, um, first of all, it does smell amazing. 
It does smell absolutely amazing. So how do you, I mean, this is called a Wisconsin old fashioned. Yes, the um, retail manager wanted to meet me. So you know what, my mind got in gear. I'm like, okay, if they want to meet me, I'm going to make them a beer soap. I'm going to uh, have a, their stamp made and I'm going to walk in with a yeah. A beer soap, and that's oh exactly what I did. So um, they loved it right away, and they embraced me, just like a lot of people in Wisconsin. And um, and I'm going to pr- be on their shelves. I don't want them to just meet me. I want them to see me. I yeah, want, I'm yeah. going to stamp their logo in it, because that's yeah. one thing not a, a lot of soapers are doing. Mm-hmm. Um, I have uh, Corey, me, Curlware. He mm-hmm. got a 3D printer. Mm-hmm. So now I can print any logo mm-hmm. for any business in my soap. So if you want to meet me, I'm just going to come with a little surprise. And I'll be like, <laughs> look what I can do. Oh. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's what I did with Paps, you know, yeah. and they were blown away and they got to pick their fragrance and they wanted uh, cedar and amber and beer soap. This is, I made it with their beer, Paps beer, and uh, I have, um, I put, their logo on it and they wanted a couple other soaps that will only be found in their store and on their website so that's amazing um, yeah there's a few stores i'm in right now that i do that for yeah that's yeah. awesome I, mean, I a lot of times i talk with different people and i always tell them you got to provide value right. you know to somebody and you doing that is providing immense level of value right. you know as you meet somebody for the first time and also because who's expecting that who's yeah, expecting right. <laughs> there to have their own logo already created i mean it's, yeah. it's it's hard to even develop that idea and then to present it right there it's like wow i mean yeah it's amazing it's amazing so and where did you develop that piece because it just seems like you know i mean the custom stuff is amazing right i mean look at that it's 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 incredible so you know where did I you get that was that all through the years of at the nightclub, right. just meeting people, well, knowing yeah. how to interact. I with have people. a huge network of people that always they like to be around. They like my personality. Okay. So, okay. and I had to tone that down a lot, especially when owning a business. That's why I, when I'm like, okay, if I'm going to go meet these people, I can't come in like, hey guys, because you know that's just me. <laughs> I'm just like, you know, people love my personality, but yeah. I have to tone it down a little bit and be more professional. I'm like, okay, and it, like when I meet a lot of these businesses, they're like, we love you, we love your energy. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, okay. I, I got to tone that down a little bit, but like, look what I can do for you. All they know how to do is my personality. We, we, I worked on tips my yeah. whole life. You know so what I'm you, saying? So, so you I was know like, that you've mastered the craft. Of, yeah. So now I have people. to tone it down and make sure I, I, I bring an elevated product to them. Okay. Yeah. Well, this you is elevated. Me. Look yeah. at the packaging on this. <laughs> I mean, it's in, it's incredible. I mean, just having this level of quality. How do you develop the smells? You know, within it, is that custom right. as well? The apple. I'm mm-hmm. like, okay, I have an apple fragrance mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. we could do red. And, you know, they're like, really? You could do that? I'm like, yeah. So, like, we start off with a fragrance. Paps didn't even know I can probably do a beer soap. But I'm like, mm-hmm. look, I can do a beer soap. Your beer's in this soap. You know, it's like, I always try to start off with stuff like that. It just seems so complicated. It, to but me, it's, it's easy. It's, yeah, Isn't that it's the beauty? amazing. It no, awesome? It's, it's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. It just seems like so much to think about with, oh, let me take this beer and then mold it in. And how do you get that? that smell and still right. have you it have just be a, a soap and it too, yeah it sounds sounds incredible you have to cook the beer because you can't have any like alcohol or suds are you taking it. a couple sips as you're uh <laughs> i'm just playing no. <laughs> <laughs> i'm just playing um so yeah tell us a little bit about um some of the, the some of the success so far that you've had so you've been doing it for a year yeah what are some of the stats on, okay. on some of the this is good for viewers because okay. people that are running a business they want to kind of see you know, where can things go to? Sure. I use um, the Shopify platform for mm-hmm. my website. Mm-hmm. And I, according to the stats, I have had over 6,000, 6,000, where are we at? 6,000 store sessions. Oh, wow. And I sold That's over, over 4,000 soaps, bath bombs, and shower steamers. Oh, so that's so. So you have bath bombs, shower yep. steamers, yep, and, and soaps. Yep, and I just created a dog soap and a dog soap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just did the dog soap. I just mastered the dog soap. <laughs> Everyone was requesting dog soap. I'm like, so I'm like, oh my god, into all my what videos. What can't you do? <laughs> what can't you do? What's next? The spaceship <laughs> soap? What's the space soap? <laughs> For astronauts? Oh my goodness! Hey, it's a good idea. 
<laughs> that's incredible. That's incredible. And you do a lot of stuff um, also in the community. So what kind yes. of things are you involved in? Yes, uh, Wisconsin has embraced me and Sully Soaps and I've done a lot of uh, donations. I've done uh, the production farm in Manchuac. It's mm -hmm. a farm that helps with mental health and children with trauma. So okay. it's mostly children. I sent a lot of soaps to them. I work with a lot of uh, charities that house um, women with a domestic abuse, domestic okay. abuse and children. So um, mm -hmm. those are some uh, charities that are pretty near and dear to my heart because, yeah. you know, I can't, they reach out to me and I can't say no. It's like, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's one piece of advice if somebody were to start a business now that you've been doing it for over a year? What's one thing? Just give me one. Just one, one thing that, piece of advice. That, that has been the most valuable to you. Don't doubt yourself. I mean, so many times I've doubted myself. Is this good enough? Don't, am I good enough? Like, mm -hmm. sometimes I'm like, how is this happening to me? But I, you have to not question those things because it's a huge setback. When I was making the soaps and I realized what TikTok was, mm -hmm. I went to Corey and I said, I can't do soaps. And he's like, why? I'm like, everybody's doing soaps. And he had to stop me and be like, those are just things you're seeing. This is worldwide TikTok. Right, but I'm, right. I'm looking at soapers, right? And I'm like, oh my God, everyone's doing this. Like, I'm yeah, never yeah. gonna be enough. You like, you can't doubt yourself because it will, you know, you, you just got to believe in yourself and go for it. You, if you fail, you get back up. You know, mm -hmm. we've mm -hmm. went, we go through lives failing and we're still here, right? Yeah, yeah. Look at COVID, like, yeah. we're still here. Still here. You know, I put all of my money into this that I had left into yeah. Sully Soaps. Yeah. Have had a lot of help. Yeah. But to grow it, but, you know, if you just believe in yourself, don't doubt yourself, please. Oh, man, it's amazing. And honestly, we believe in you. That's why, you know, we have you a part of the uh, Lead the Movement business. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Is, I'm uh, so excited about that. <laughs> I was like, I can't, I'm so honored and happy to be there as well. Yes. In August. Yes. So it's going to be incredible. Um, yes. It's lots of changing. things are happening for you. It's too. changing every day. <laughs> <laughs> every day which is which is awesome to to have you be a part of that so what are um what's that one thing that sets you apart from others fragrances and colors you know a lot I, a lot of soap was do natural and they smell good people go I'm smell. telling you i'm all about I'm telling you the eyes and the senses and the you know fragrances i'm really about that i'm also one thing i can't stress i can't stress enough is companies because i have a lot of um real estate agents and other companies that yeah, reached yeah. out paps yeah thank you yeah. paps give you a logo mm -hmm. in the soap nobody's doing that right and i can do it quickly mm -hmm. <laughs> you Super know i quick. have the i have the tools to do that quickly. don't take months huh um i you know consultations tell me what colors you like what scents you like i'll stamp the soap that's totally Brandable. different that's totally different yeah things yeah. can be branded and you have that personal touch, yeah. you know, with every single thing that you're doing, which is, Thank which you. is incredible. I mean, even the packaging, I mean, it's, it's, Thank you. it's fantastic. It's fantastic. So who is this for, you know, wh wh what kind of people can get involved? I know you've done stuff with weddings before. Oh, you've sure. Done yeah. Stuff with, yeah, lots uh, of weddings obviously companies, parties. you know, so what, what are uses for, for this soap? You know, I have a little something for everybody. Bath bombs, shower steamers, uh, men's soap. Now I have dog soap. Get one for the whole family. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what's next? I'm telling you. <laughs> so, I mean. The innovation is, is crazy, especially within a year. I mean, it's just you're constantly evolving, yeah. constantly changing. Yeah. The innovation is, is great. And for you to actually execute the innovation. Where can uh, people find you at? How can they get connected? Okay. Um, Sully Soaps, www.sullysoaps.com. Okay. Or Google Sully Soaps is the first thing that comes up. Okay. <laughs> um, Facebook, Instagram, um, I love the TikTok platform now. I'm addicted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who is it? Because <laughs> I like the music. I, you know, I, I do. I can't help myself. But yeah, you, um, and uh, yeah, if cool. you, um, if anyone sees this podcast, 
Forever and you mentioned Forever Podcast. Mm -hmm. Any companies, um, I can waive the logo fee for you. I'll stamp you a logo. Sweet. And of course, free consultation. See, there's Absolutely. the perks. There's the perks, people. <laughs> and he gets to meet me. <laughs> and he gets to meet Colleen. So and definitely yeah. reach out, you know, if if you're curious about um, you know, about this business, about getting into maybe your own business. I mean, it's great to just reach out to people and just, you know, you know, ask some questions, get involved, because um, it's just so important um, to know that people are reachable. They are reachable. So definitely reach out to Clean for sure. Please. Um, and especially <laughs> if you want a custom soap, it's great for companies, as she mentioned. So this is fantastic. Um, I know here at Forever Media, we've definitely um, already engaged with, uh, with Sully Soaps and have a custom soap um, ourselves which has been incredible. Um, so definitely, you know, such, such good products, such good high quality. Thank you. So thank I you appreciate for coming on here. it. I really do. And thank you for having me. And, you know, just thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not a problem. Thank you for showing up. So um, if you are watching, uh, definitely subscribe to the Forever Podcast. Don't just be a lurker. You got to actually get engaged and get subscribed so you can get an update on all this content that we're putting out and definitely um, subscribe also to we're streaming on all audio platforms as well so until the next time uh, it's been a great episode it's been fantastic so we'll see you next time <laughs> peace thanks for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell for more amazing content that we're gonna be putting out and don't forget you can change your circle to change your life